from your local Barnes & Noble, where I'm awaiting the hot new vinyl, Steven Seagal does stand-up comedy. This is Kurt Berglund with Payoff Pitch Dream Season Baseball. We are up to game 17, and we have a critical National League battle today. In the National League standings, the 2018 Brewers are in first place with a 14 and 2 record. The 83 Braves are in second at 11 and 5. The 69 Cubs and the 83 Phillies are both tied at 10 and 6. They have all clinched playoff spots with two games to go. However, the fifth and final playoff spot for the National League is still up for grabs between two ball clubs. The one with pole position at this point is the 1984 Cubs. They have a 9-7 and seven record and are in the playoffs if the season ended at this moment. The team in sixth place and on the outside looking in with two games to go is the 1969 New York Mets. Now, as it happens, we are at Shea Stadium for the final series of the year. The game, first game of the series was won by the 84 Cubs, which means that to make the playoffs, the 69 Mets have to win the last two games of the season to leapfrog the Cubs. That makes today's game a must win for the Mets. And if the Cubs win, they're in. Uh, they clinch. So we're at Shea Stadium. The opposing pitchers for the 1984 Cubs, it's their ace, Rick Sutcliffe. And for the 1969 Mets, it's their ace, Tom Seaver. This is going to be good. Um, let's get to the starting lineups. For the visiting 1984 Chicago Cubs, leading off in center field, it's Bobby Dernier. Batting second at second base, Ryan Sandberg. Batting third in left field, Gary Matthews. Batting fourth in right field, Keith Moreland. Batting fifth at first base, it's Leon Durham. Batting sixth at doing the third base work today, Ron Say. Batting seventh behind the plate, it's Jody Davis. And batting eighth, and playing shortstop, it's Larry Boa. Betting ninth. And on the mound, it's Rick Sutcliffe. For the homestanding 1969 New York Mets. Leading off in center field, it's Tommy Agee. Betting second at third base, it's the redhead, Wayne Garrett. Betting third in left field, Cleon Jones. Betting fourth in right field, Art Shamsky. Betting fifth at second base, Ken Boswell. Betting sixth at first base, Ed Cranepool. Betting seventh and doing the catching, it's Jerry Grody. Betting eighth at shortstop, Bud Harrelson. And betting ninth and on the mound, it's Tom Terrific, Tom Seaver. 25-7 and seven with a 2.21 earned run average in 1969 in 35 starts. 18 complete games and 273 innings pitched. We are ready to go in New York. Chicago wins, they clinch and eliminate the Mets. The Mets win, they live to breathe another day, and tomorrow will be Kuzman versus Trout to settle the score. Here we go, Bobby Dernier leads off. That is... Hit to center field. Tommy Ag comes in a few steps and makes the catch for out number one. We are underway at Shea. And it's Ryan Sandberg, the MVP in 1984. And it's a hanger for Sandberg, but it's grounded to short. He just missed it. Harrelson grabs it, throws to Crane Pool, and there's two gone. And now it's the Sarge, Gary Matthews. And this is a ground ball to Ken Boswell, who fields it despite the objections of Dick Schapp, who throws to first base to Crane Pool. And the Cubs are done in the first. Seaver does a 1-2-3 on him. 
We go to the bottom of the first, and we're scoreless at Shea. It's A.G., Garrett, and Jones coming up in the bottom of the first. See what Tommy can do against Sutcliffe, who for the Cubs was 16-1 with a 269 earned run average and 20 starts after arriving from Cleveland, seven complete games, and 150 innings pitched. Pitch to Tommy. And that's a looper, center field, drops in front of Dernier, base hit for A.G., he's aboard. And the first hit of the game belongs to the Mets. He is aboard, and he can run a little bit. So let's see if the Cubs decide to put a play on. Garrett coming to the plate. Sutcliffe to the belt, checks A.G., the pitch to Garrett, he squares, he squares to Bunt, and he gets it down, fielded by Sutcliffe, who fumbles it. But he picks it up, throws to Durham, Gets the out at first by a whisker. Garrett is retired, and A.G. moves up. So with one out, Jones is at, is at the plate. And there's a man in scoring position. First run of the game for the Mets. Maybe the only run they need of Seavers on his game. The pitch to Cleon. Ground ball, Sandberg. He gloves it and throws to Durham, and that retires Jones as A.G. moves to third with two outs now for Shamsky. Lead run 90 feet away. Sutcliffe winds and delivers to Shamsky. Base hit right field for Art Shamsky. He's on, and A.G. scores the first run of the game. The Mets lead one to nothing in the bottom of the first. No shutout today for Sutcliffe. It's one nothing Mets in a game they've got to have. Shamsky at first on the single, and now it'll be Kenny Boswell with two outs. Hitting the air to right field. Moreland running toward the line, but he will get there in time to make the catch, and that will retire the side. And we've played one complete at Shea Stadium, and it's 1-0, 69 Mets over the 84 Cubs. Seaver back out on the mound. Mets breathing a little bit easier with a 1-0 lead. And for the Cubs in the second, it'll be Moreland, Durham, and Say coming up for... The boys from the Windy City, the Northsiders, the pitch to Moreland. Popped it up. Boswell on the infield grass is calling and will take it for out number one. Now it's Durham. Uh, got to re-roll. And Durham singles. That's a first hit of the game right up the middle for the Cubs first baseman. He is aboard with a single with one out. Jerry Grody back behind home plate today. After missing five games due to injury, Ron Say comes to the plate. Seavers pitch to Ron. Ground ball. Boswell. To Harrelson for one. The relay to Crane Pool is in time. It's a... Soul-crushing, rally-killing double play to kill the Cubs in the second inning. We played one and a half, and it's one nothing Mets. In game 17 of an 18-game mini-season, we call the dream season. Coming up for New York in the bottom of the second, it's Cranepool, Grody, and Harrelson. 
and Sutcliffe with a hanger. And it's driven deep to right. Moreland back to the track, to the wall. Ed Cranepool has gone yard. He's left the building, so has Elvis. It's 2 nothing Mets off a hanging breaking ball from Rick Sutcliffe. Nobody out in the second inning. Jerry Grody steps to the plate. Mets fans going nuts. The pitch. Uh, this is hit to right. Moreland on the run. Moreland will never get there. It's a base hit. It's a base hit for Grody. He's aboard with nobody on, and with nobody out. And now it's Harrelson with Seaver moving into the on-deck circle. Bud 268 against righties. They could put a play on here. Seaver can handle the bat. Sutcliffe to the belt. Checks Grody at first. The pitch to Bud. He squares to Bunt. And he gets it down. It's gloved by Sutcliffe, who turns and fires to Sandberg, covering first, and Harrelson's retired as Grody moves up. Gil Hodges playing extremely small ball here, looking for that third run for Seaver, who stands in now against Sutcliffe. Rick to the belt. Checks Grody at second. The pitch home to Seaver. Ground ball say. Ron takes a step toward the line, gloves it, throws to Durham, and that retires Seaver. So with two outs, it's AG at, with Grody at second. Pitch to Tommy. Ground ball, Sandberg. Rhino throws to Durham, and that retires the Mets in the second, but they add another one, and after two, the Mets lead 2 nothing. Is that going to be enough for Tom Terrific to send this season to an all-important and deciding game 18 for both these ball clubs? Last third of the order for the Cubs in the third. It's Davis, Boa, and Sutcliffe. Pitch from Seaver to Jody. Hit in the air to center. It's high, but not deep. Tommy Ag is under it and makes the catch. One gone in the third. Now it's Larry Boa. 193 against right-handed pitching. Lost his job for a while in 84. The pitch to Boa... is grounded to Harrelson. And Bud boots it. Bud Harrelson boots it. We got an E6 and Boa is safe and Sutcliffe comes to the plate and Rick could bat a little bit. So... Seaver's going to have to be careful and try and pitch around the error by Harrelson. Okay, so with one out, Bo is at first. Sutcliffe is, is at bat. The pitch from Seaver. And this has popped up. 
On the infield dirt, Boswell under it and taking it for out number two. Now it's Dernier with Boa tied to first base. Body is 0 for 1. The pitch from Seaver. Popped it up. Grody off with the mask. And makes the catch for out number three. So Seaver pitches around the error by Harrelson. We go to the bottom of the third. It's 2-0 Mets. Sutcliffe. Got to hold them where they're at. For the Mets, it's Garrett, Jones, and Shamsky coming up. In the bottom of the third, Wayne bunted successfully in the first. Ground ball, Sandberg. Rhino to his right. Gloves it and throws to Durham. And there's one gone in the third. Jones over one. Sutcliffe winds and delivers. Hit in the air to right. Here comes Moreland in a few steps and makes the catch for out number two. Now Shamsky, one for one. He drove in a run in the first inning, the first run of the game. Pitch to him. Hit in the air to left. This is going to be a chance for Matthews, but not deep. He's going to make the catch for Sutcliffe's first one, two, three inning in this game. We go to the fourth. 2-0 New York. For the Cubs, it's Sandberg, Matthews, and Moreland coming up in the fourth. Rhino is 0-1. for 1. The pitch. Ground ball. Boswell to his left. Flips to Crane Pool, and there's one gone. Now it's Matthews 0-1. And the Sarge hits this one to center on a line. A.J. to left center. He gets it on the run. There's two gone. And now Moreland, who's also 0 for 1. Cubs having trouble. Seaver looks to be on today. The pitch. Ground ball Boswell to his right. Gloves it. Throws to Crane Pool, and that retires the Cubs. In the fourth, we've played three and a half in New York. It's 2 nothing Mets. Rick Sutcliffe will face Boswell, Cranepool, and Grody in the bottom of the fourth. Ken is 0 for 1. The pitch. Hey, struck him out, and that's Sutcliffe's first. Of this ball game, maybe Rick is riding the ship a little bit. Crane Pool stands in. He hit a homer in the second. Hey, struck him out on a breaking pitch. The same pitch Crane Pool jerked out of here. Two gone in the fourth for Sutcliffe and the Cubs. Grody singled in the second. He's one for one. He stands in with two outs and nobody aboard. The pitch. Hit in the air to center. Here comes Dernier. And Bobby makes the catch. About knee high. And that will retire the Mets in the fourth. We've played four. It's 2 nothing New York. Here comes Seaver to face Durham, Say, and Davis in the Cubs' fifth. He has allowed one hit. He has walked none. He has struck out none. Leon has the Cubs' only hit of the day. The pitch from Seaver. Is grounded to Harrelson. Bud in a step. Grabs it on a hop. Throws to Crane Pool. And there's one gone in the fifth. Say... Grounded into a double play that ended the second and killed the Cubs' first real chance in the game. And he takes outside with a fastball. He takes outside and trots down to first base on the walk. Jody Davis stands in. 
0 for 1 for Jody. He can certainly tie it with one swing of the bat. The pitch from Seaver. And that's a base hit for Jody Davis. Say will stop at second, and Boa comes to the plate with one out, and now two on for Chicago. Sutcliffe is on deck, Seaver's first real mess of the game. He has a two-run lead. Boa reached on an error in the third inning. Seaver to the belt. Checks Say at second base. He's not going anywhere. The pitch to Boa. Hit to left. Jones charging. Jones charging. Jones makes the catch. Two gone now for Sutcliffe, who, as we said, can swing the bat. 0 for 1 in this game. Cubs need a hit. Golden opportunity. Seaver to the belt. Can he get out of the mess? The pitch. Hey, struck him out for his first strikeout of the game, and Seaver escapes damage. We go to the bottom of the fifth. We're halfway through it. New York 2, Chicago nothing at Shea Stadium. We got planes flying overhead. We got hot dog wrappers blowing across the outfield grass, but it's Shea Stadium, and the Mets are leading. Harrelson's up, Seaver on deck. The pitch from Sutcliffe. Looper to left, here comes the Sarge. He's got it for the first out of the fifth inning for the Mets. Here comes Seaver, pitching a good one. 0 for 1 at the plate. Sutcliffe winds and delivers. Looper, Seaver, center field. Drops in front of Dernier, a base hit. He's on with a single, and now it's A.G. Sutcliffe did not want to do that, and A.G. is 1 for 2. He has scored a run in this game. There's one man out, and Seaver at first to pitch. Hey, struck out Tommy. Third strikeout for Sutcliffe. And with two outs, it's Garrett. 218 against righties for Wayne. Hey, hey, struck him out. Fourth for Rick. He gets out of the mess in the fifth. We go to the sixth inning. 2 nothing New York. Is Seaver going to be able to make two runs stand up? Top of the order for the 84 Cubs, Dernier, Sandberg, and the Sarge. Gary Matthews in the sixth. 0 for 2 for Bobby on the day. The pitch is hit to left, but straight at Cleon Jones, and he glows it for out number one. Sandberg coming on. He is 0 for 2 in this game. Hit to right, toward right center. Shamsky on the run. Art gets there for out number two. And now it's the Sarge. 0 for 2 for Gary. Ground ball, Boswell. Ken to his left. Throws to Cranepool. And that retires the Cubs in 1-2-3 fashion in the sixth. We go to the bottom of the sixth. It's 2-0 New York. Jones, Shamsky, and Boswell would love to add some insurance. Sutcliffe winds. Cleon is 0-2. for 2. The pitch is a base hit to left field just past Boa's outstretched glove, and Jones is aboard with a single. Shamsky comes up. That's not the start of the inning that Sutcliffe wanted. Cub infield at double play depth. Shamsky is one for two. The pitch from Sutcliffe. Is trouble. That's launch to...
the right field line drops past Moreland. Keith is going to have to run it down in the corner. Jones all the way around second to third. Shamsky's got himself a double. They're going to hold Cleon at third base with nobody out. Runners at second and third with nobody out now for Boswell. Cub infield going to play in. To the bottom of the sixth, there's nobody out. Jones at third, Shamsky at second, and Boswell at the plate. Hmm, a lot of options here. Boswell 290 versus right-handed pitching. He is 0 for 2 in this game today. The pitch from Rick Sutcliffe. Hit to center field. Bobby Dernier lining himself up. Oh, boy. How do they want to do this? Let's check Jones' speed at third base. He is tagging. Dernier's arm. Hmm. They're going to send him. They're going to send him. Jones tagging. Dernier makes the catch. The throw home. He got him at the plate. Bobby Dernier just threw out Cleon Jones on a sacrifice fly attempt. Ooh. And the throw got him from here to Okaboji. It's a double play for the Cubs. A fly out to Dernier. And... He lined himself up. He made the throw on a hop to Jody Davis. And Cleon Jones shot down at the plate. Art Chamsky holds it second. So Crane Pool comes up now with two outs. Grody on deck. The pitch to Ed. Hey, struck him out. And that's the fifth K for Sutcliffe. So they go from runners on second and third and nobody out to scoring nothing in the sixth. Let's see if that gives the Cubs some momentum. We go to the seventh, it's two nothing Mets. For the Cubs, it's Moreland, Durham, and Say in the seventh. They know what's on the line. Dernier's fired up in the dugout. Moreland's 0 for two. Seaver winds and delivers. Hit to left, a mile in the air, but not deep. Cleon Jones under this one, and that's one gone in the Cub seventh. Durham stands in. One for two for Leon. Okay. Oop. And... Hit to center. AG to right center. AG on the run. AG's got it. And that retires Durham in the seventh. Two gone now. And Say is up. Ron is 0 for 1 with a walk on the day. Two outs. Nobody aboard. The pitch from Seaver. Lined inside the third baseline past Garrett. Look at Say. The Penguin is around first. He's going to get into seven, second as Jones digs it out of the corner and throws it into Harrelson. Say is in scoring position with two men out for Jody Davis. They could walk Davis and get to Boa, but that could get a pinch hitter up. So they're going to go for Davis. Cubs have some good ones on the bench. One for two for Jody on the day. The pitch. Ground ball, Harrelson. Bud to his right. Gloves it and throws to Crane Pool, and that retires the Cubs in the seventh. Time to stretch them out at Shea. It's 2 nothing Mets in a game they've got to have to stay alive in the playoff picture in the National League. Cubs win, they're in. Mets win, 
Tomorrow means something. Grody, Harrelson, and Seaver up for the Mets in the bottom of the seventh. Sutcliffe winds and delivers. Hit to center. A.G. on the run. Tommy makes the catch. And, I'm sorry, Dernier makes the catch. My bad. Four out, number one. Harrelson up. 0 for 1 with a bunt. The pitch from Sutcliffe. Ground ball, Sandberg, Rhino to his left, throws to Durham, two gone, and now Seaver, with nobody aboard, comes to the plate. One for two. And on a breaking pitch, he loses Seaver, and that's ball four, so Tommy Agee comes to the plate with two outs and Seaver at first. One for three for Tommy on the day. A long one here would do a lot of damage to Cub chances in this one. The pitch. Instead, it's a base hit for AG just past Boa. And Seaver will stop at second. And Garrett will come up. There's two on with two outs now. Sutcliffe struggling in the seventh. And Warren Brewster is going to start throwing in the Cub bullpen. He has been very reliable for the 84 Cubs and has taken over setup responsibilities from Tim Stoddard. So... With two outs, Seaver's at second, A.G. is at first, and now Garrett is at the plate. Sutcliffe due up second in the eighth inning. They'd love to get him through this. The pitch. Ground ball, Sandberg. He's going to go the short way to Boa and retire the Mets in the seventh. So the Mets threaten, but do not score. We go to the eighth. It's 2 nothing, New York. There is no activity in the Mets bullpen. This game is Tom Seavers, Boa, Sutcliffe, and Dernier are scheduled, but they will not bat. Boa is being called back, and you can tell he's not happy about it. He's giving Jim Fry some lip. Giving him lip. Thad Bosley has grabbed a bat. He will come out of the dugout, and he will bat for the Cub shortstop. Two eighty four with a three fifty five on base average in nineteen eighty four for Thad. Boa ends his day zero for two. Seaver winds and delivers to Bosley. Hey, Str uh, no. I'm wrong. It's a looper. <laughs> Sometimes I'm wrong about these things. It's a looper to left. It's going to drop in front of Jones. Base hit for Bosley. The Cubs bring the tying runner to the plate. And that's going to be it for Sutcliffe. They're calling him back. It's going to be Richie Hebner, the grave digger. How sick of that do you think he... How sick of hearing that do you think he was by this point in his career? All right. Sutcliffe ends the day 0 for 2 at the plate. He pitched seven innings. Allowed eight hits. He walked one. He struck out five. He allowed two runs, both earned, and one home run. And he stands to get the loss. Warren Brewster is throwing in the Cub bullpen. He will be the next pitcher for Chicago, but right now it's Thad Bosley at first and Richie Hebner pinch hitting for Sutcliffe at the plate. Seaver delivers. Hit in the air to left. Gary uh, Cleon Jones on the run toward left the left field line and he will make the catch. 
One gone, and now Bobby Dernier is up as Thad Bosley returns to first base. Dernier is 0 for 3. Seaver to the belt. Checks Bosley. The pitch. Ground ball. Harrelson to Boswell for one. To Cranepool, just beating Dernier by an eyelash. It's a soul-crushing Rally killing, double play, ending the Cubs' chances in the eighth. We go to the bottom of the eighth, two nothing Mets. And here comes Warren Brewster. He will bat ninth in the order. And we will get a new shortstop for Chicago as well. It will be, oh boy, it will be, Tom Verizer. And he will bat in the eighth spot for Jim Fry. So Gil Hodges will send the meat of his order to the plate in the bottom of the eighth. It's Jones, Shamsky, and Boswell against Brewster, and an insurance run would look pretty big here. Seaver working on a four-hit shutout. The pitch to Cleon. Hit to center. Bobby Dernier gloves it for out number one. Shamsky's two for three with a ribby. Pitch to Art. Hit to Dernier. High but not deep. Shamsky is retired for out number two. And now Boswell. Kenny is 0 for three. Hit to that sacrifice fly, double play in the six. The pitch from Brewster. Base hit, left field, Ken Boswell. He's on, and now Cranepool, who homered way back in the second inning. He's one for three. Brewster wants to end things here. To the belt, checks Boswell. The pitch to Cranepool. He lost him. That's ball four, and there's two on now for Jerry Grody. Gil Hodges looking at the lineup card, seeing what he wants to do here. Grody will bat, of course, one for three. Brewster has two has allowed two runners on. Lee Smith starting to throw in the Cubs bullpen. Two on with two outs. Boswell at second. Crane pool at first. Grody at the plate. Jerry's one for three. The pitch from Brewster. Ground ball, Tom Verizer. He goes the short way to Sandberg, and that will retire the Mets in the eighth. We're going to the ninth. Two nothing New York in a game they gotta have to stay alive. Seaver coming back out. Sandberg, Matthews, and Moreland will be up for the Cubs in the ninth. We're going to get a new right fielder. It's going to be It's going to be Ron Swoboda. Oh, wait a minute. No, it's not. It's going to be Yeah, it is. It's going to be Ron Swoboda. And he will bat in the cleanup spot. And we'll have a new second baseman. It's going to be Al Weiss. 
These are changes that Hodges made during the 69 series to get his gloves in the lineup with a lead. So he's doing just that right now. So Boswell is out. And Shamsky is out. Swoboda is in and Weiss is in. So Seaver... There's action in the Mets bullpen. It's Ron Taylor and Tug McGraw. And Seaver is ready. He's got a 2-0 lead. He's got to close it out to keep the Mets alive. Sandberg 0 for 3. Blooper, center field. Base hit, Sandberg, he's on. Cubs bring the tying run to the plate, and Gary Matthews, 0 for 3 on the day, but certainly has some power. 277 against righties, 415 on base percentage. Seaver to the belt, check Sandberg, the pitch home to the Sarge. That's a 10. That's a six. That's a hanger to Matthews. And it's deep to the left. Jones back. Track. Wall. Gone. Gary Matthews has just tied the game at two with a two-run bomb in the top of the ninth off Seaver. Oh, you can hear a pin drop at Shea Stadium. 2-2 two, two the score. Keith Moreland coming to the plate. Here comes Gil Hodges out of the dugout. He wants to talk to Seaver. Oh-wee. A sudden turn of events on Broadway. Keith Moreland comes to the plate. Hodges going back to the dugout. He's satisfied with whatever Seaver said. And he is asking... Joe Pignatano to break out the vaping materials. So Gil Hodges needs a vape break in the Mets dugout. Here in the ninth inning, there's nobody out. Moreland coming to the plate. Durham is on deck. Seaver still in there. The pitch. Line drive, base hit, Moreland. He is on with a single to left. It drops in front of Jones. And he is aboard. Now we've got some options for Fry. As they are going to have late season acquisition. Davy Lopes. Come on out and do the pinch running honors at first base. Durham is coming to the plate. Hodges on the top step of the dugout. Can't seem to get the lighter working. The vaping has not begun. Rube Walker helping him out with the lighter and the tobacco products <laughs> in the dugout. Gill is mad at Piggy because Piggy just dropped the lighter and Rube can't help if Piggy doesn't hold the lighter. So there's a lot of chaos and confusion in the Mets dugout here in the top of the ninth. Seaver looks over, just shakes his head. Lopes is at first. Seaver to the belt. He checks Davey. The pitch home to Durham. There goes Lopes. There goes Lopes. The throw down to Weiss is not in time. Lopes steals second base. Durham took a called strike. He is behind in the count 0-1. Now do they walk Durham to get to say? Do they bring in Tug McGraw to face Durham? 
season's on the line here. If Lopes scores, the Cubs lead. Ah, Seaver's going to pitch to Durham. Tom to the belt. Checks Lopes at second. The pitch home. This is grounded to Harrelson. Buds in two steps. Gloves it and throws to Crane Pool for out number one in the ninth. Now it's Say with Davis on deck. Say doubled last time up. He is one for two in the game. He has drawn a walk. Hodges sticking with Seaver. You can see puffs of smoke coming from the Mets dugout. The pitch to Say. Line drive, base hit. Center field, lopes around third. He will score on the single from Say, and the Cubs lead 3-2. Here comes Hodges, he's seen enough. Davis coming to the plate, it's gonna be Ron Taylor who gets the call to face Jody Davis in the top of the ninth. Seaver had a two-run lead coming into the ninth. He has surrendered three runs so far, and Taylor is on. The right-handed fireman for the 69 Mets was 9-4 with a 272 earned run average, 59 games, 13 saves, and 76 innings pitch. McGraw is still throwing in the bullpen. Tom Verizer in the on-deck circle. Jody Davis, a double play target, if they can get him to hit it on the ground. Say it first. The pitch. Base hit, Davis. This goes to short right. It in, drops in front of Swoboda. Say will stop at second. And Verizer is due... To come to the plate, Brewster is standing in the on-deck circle. They're going to let Tommy bat, I believe. Yes, here he comes. 193 against right-handers. Taylor, one out. Say it second. Davis at first. Three runs in. Cubs lead 3-2. Pitch from Taylor. Hit to left. Here comes Jones. He makes the catch. That's two gone. And now Brewster's spot. He is being called back. Lee Smith is throwing in the bullpen. He will be coming on in the ninth inning. And Henry Cotto is coming out of the dugout to pinch hit for Brewster. Say still at second. Davis still at first. There's two outs. There's three runs in. Cubs lead 3-2. We're in the top of the ninth. The pitch from Taylor to Cotto. Ground ball. First base gloved by Crane Pool. He's going to flip to Taylor covering. And that will retire the Cubs in the ninth. But they put up three. On five hits, they leave two. And we go to the bottom of the ninth, and the Mets season is three outs from being over. Going to see some changes here defensively for the Cubs. Lopes. will come out of the game. Cotto is going to go to right field in place of Lopes, who ran for Moreland. So Cotto stays in the game. And now batting in the fourth spot will be Lee Smith. The Cubs closer, who is on to try and finish this for Chicago and clinch 
at least a wild card spot for the Cubs. If the Cubs win today and they win tomorrow, they could actually potentially even move out of the wild card spot. But first things first, uh, it's Harrelson, then Taylor. So we'll have a pinch hitter and then Tommy Agee do up for the Mets. And Don Clendenin has moved into the on-deck circle for Taylor. So Harrelson will lead off against Smith. Lee Smith, 9-7, and seven, with a 365 earned run average, 69 games, 33 saves, and 101 innings pitched. He is on for the save. Cubs lead 3-2. It's the bottom of the ninth. If the Mets don't get a run, their season ends with no playoffs. All right. Harrelson in there. He's 0 for 2. He has bunted successfully today. The pitch from Smith. Is hit to Sandberg. He gloves it and throws to first, and there's one gone in the Mets ninth. Here comes Don Clendenin. To bat for reliever Ron Taylor, and Tommy Agee is in the Don Deck circle. Lee Smith winds and delivers. Hey, struck him out. Two gone in the Mets' ninth. Tommy Agee with two outs. Bottom of the ninth. Last chance saloon. Two for four with eight for Agee with a run scored. The pitch to Tommy. Hit to third. This is Say. He gloves it and throws to Durham. They get A.G. by a step, and the Mets lose. Cubs win 3-2. The National League playoff teams are set, although the seeding is not. Cubs win 3-2 over the 69 Mets and eliminate the Mets from playoff participation. For the victorious 84 Cubs, three runs. On nine hits, they committed no errors. For the vanquished and eliminated 1969 Mets, two runs. On eight hits, and they committed one error. Winning pitcher, Warren Brewster. Losing pitcher, Tom Seaver. And the save goes to Lee Smith. Now the drama. As we flip back to the standings. For the National League. The Mets are eliminated. The Cubs have a 10 and 7 lead. Or a 10 and 7 record. The Phillies play the Brewers. If they lose, or if the 69 Cubs lose to the 83 Braves, either of those events would throw the 84 Cubs into a tie for the lead spot in the wild card picture, or actually, yeah, and with a chance to leapfrog into the home field for the wild card, or for even, depending upon how things shake out, third place in the league and getting them out of the wild card game altogether. 
So we'll see how that happens. But I thank you so much for joining me. This is Payoff Pitch Dream Season Baseball. My name's Kurt Berglund. I hope you have a good night. Thank you so much for joining me. Please subscribe if you have not. So long, everybody.